Hey everybody, Colleen here with Colleen Beauty and Fashion. So first of all, I want to thank all the lovely new subscribers who have come on board recently. We've had several days of lots of people joining up and so I'm so thrilled about that. Welcome and also welcome to those of you who've been with me from the very beginning. I really appreciate your support. I am super excited about today's video, if you can tell in my voice, because it's the first of what I consider the series leading up to my favorite season in fashion, fall. Fall, autumn, whatever you like to call it, is by far and away, to me, the most exciting season in the fashion industry. So, today we're going to start with one of our my favorite things, and I hope your favorite things too, and that's the color. So, what colors are we going to be seeing, and what do, might we already have in our wardrobe and what colors do we think we want to fill in to our wardrobe this season? All of these things are things I like to dream about at this time of year. And even though it is still summer, this is the time of year when we see all these wonderful fall items start to come into the stores and we get excited about the brand new season coming up. So here we go. I'm going to show you the colors for fall 2022, winter 2023. So what do you think? There's some pretty vibrant hues in that selection, isn't there? This video is based on Pantene's colors from the New York Fashion Week uh, collection and also the core collection for this season so coming up. So I wanted to do now is break it down a little bit by some color groupings and then I, what I'd like to do is what I encourage you to do every time this, the new season rolls around and that is go shopping in your own wardrobe and see what you have, what fits in, and what you might you know, like to be thinking about looking for as we see the new fall fashion start to come into the stores and online, of course, an excellent place to shop for fall fashion. So here we go. Let's start with the first set. And I think these are the brightest ones of the bunch. So let's start with Lava Falls, which is kind of a reddy orange color. It's the only red in the bunch, very uh, kind of a warm color. Um, and then I'd also like to discuss in the same set, the Samoan Sun, which is that yellow, very bright, vibrant yellow color, and the color Orange Tiger, which has a very fun name. So here's these three red, yellow, and orange colors. Now, to me, these are the brightest, most summery shades in this collection. And what I would like to say about that is I think this is because of the dopamine dressing that we're seeing now. The designers have adopted an, an attitude where we're going to bring joy to our lives with color. And we're not going to do that just during the summer. We're going to do it all during the fall and winter as well. So what you'll notice in all of this color scheme is that there isn't the traditional deep burgundies or the very deep purples or navies. The, the colors are much brighter and more vibrant. Again, cheery is the way I would describe them. I'm not a big fan yet, maybe I will be, of wearing like an orange and yellow combination in fall winter. I like my colors more dramatic in the winter time, but they're great for accessories. And that's probably where I'll be focusing my attention on these brighter colors. The red may be a little bit more, but I don't look very good in an orange red. So if you look good in an orangey red, that's great because that is a very nice color. But for me personally, um, these three colors are just kind of what I'll be using in accessories. And you might have noticed the earrings that I posted at the very end of the color selections. And I found those earrings on Revolve. And as I said, they're already in my cart. And the reason is that's an example to me of a way you could take an accessory and take some color in that you might not wear in your actual wardrobe pieces, but you can accessorize with it. So those earrings are coming I'm paying for them on the next payday and they're going to be in my hot little hands before you know it. And I will definitely share them with you. So the next series of colors I want to talk to you about is two pinks and a green. So let's talk about Rose Violet and Amazon and Nosegay. So these three colors I think are more wearable. Um, 
um, I'm not sure if you would consider this the rose violet color. I think this might be a little bit too pink, but I thought to myself, it's pretty close, so I could probably get away with it. And the beautiful nosegay color, the very light pink is lovely. Now, what I want you to notice is in this scarf that I put on, I have almost all of the colors. The pink, the green isn't quite as vibrant as it could be, but it's very close. And it's definitely close to one of the other colors you're gonna see coming up. The, I think it's called Loden, Loden Frost. So this scarf, again, is an example of a way you can take a, an accessory and blend in some of the colors that you see um, all together. And then you have a lovely combination of the current colors. So I, I, as you know, if you watch my channel, I love to do that. And this scarf is beautiful Chinese silk. So it will definitely see a lot of wear. It also has that kind of, um, what's it called, autumn blonde color that we're going to see coming up has a lot of the great colors in it, just like those earrings. So that's kind of the point I'm making. And I could see that Amazon color, that beautiful, rich green, um, being a wonderful blazer. You know how I like to have the neutral blazers. And then if you've seen my other um, videos about capsule wardrobes and then throwing in color, I like to have a couple of one or two blazers that are colorful blazers and use them to throw in the color of the current season. And I could see myself looking for a beautiful green blazer like that. And I think it would be really flattering. So stay tuned for that shopping video. So let's move on to Water Spout, Caramel Cafe, and Midnight. And I'm going to throw in Martini Olive in this grouping as well. So here we go with some blues, a cup of blues a nice kind of warm brownie caramel color and a couple of greens, one green, sorry. So, Water Spout again is a very, to me, summery color. It's lovely and it's in those earrings again. So I don't think I would purchase anything, maybe a sweater, a sweater I, I might purchase in that color, but uh, not anything substantial in that particular color, not for me at least. Sorry, Bonnie was thirsty, so I had to get her a drink of water. And if you don't know who Bonnie is, she's my little dog. She makes a cameo at the end of my videos. So if you want to see her, you got to go to the very end. Watch to the very end. <laughs> don't skip. <laughs> Just kidding. You can do as you like. So here we go. Where was I? I was on water spout. Yeah, I don't think that's a color that I will be wearing a large piece of let's say but if we move on to caramel cafe now here's where we get into something that I think for sure I already own a couple of pieces I think that are pretty close match to this color and also I think that there's a potential for boots and shoes that are pretty close to this color so as you may know if you watch my channel I'm a brand representative for ambassador for ally shoes and they have a wonderful caramel colored uh, block heel that i'm pretty certain is going to be in my basket pretty soon so i'm looking forward to that and i think they're going to be a really great addition to my wardrobe and the thing about ally shoes is they're so comfortable um, if you haven't seen that video i'll pop a picture of it up here but i do a whole day in the life of my ally beige kitten heels and uh, just the most comfortable shoes if you have wide feet or bunions or any kind of foot concerns. I have an ankle that I've broken twice. Um, those shoes are structured, they come in a huge variety of widths and sizes, and they are constructed for the maximum comfort in the toe box. So check out that video if you're looking for a great pair of comfortable shoes, but mine are coming and I'm for sure the caramel ones and I am thinking about the black heels, the higher heels as well. I have a lot of functions to go to this fall and winter, so I definitely need some new black heels. This video was not sponsored, by the way, by Ally. I just really love their shoes. So moving on, let's talk about the color Midnight. Midnight is, it's, to me, its color is kind of, the name of it is a little bit of a misnomer because it's really not a deep, deep blue, but it is definitely a royal jewel tone blue. Um, and it's beautiful. And I do believe I own a dress that is this color, so I'll show that to you later in the video. 
but um, this is a very wearable color. I believe lots of people can wear it. It's very flattering. So if you haven't got anything in this color yet, you might want to look for a shirt or a dress or something close to your face because it is a very flattering color on most people. And then last in this little grouping, we have the Martini Olive color. Now, this color is wonderful. I've been wearing a variation of this color a lot, it seems like for the last couple of years. So I do have pieces in my wardrobe that I think are a Martini Olive, pretty close anyway. And so what I will be looking for is some trousers in this color. I think they would, it's a great color for trousers, I think so. And I do did have a silk blouse. I had to sadly get rid of it because it got some um, stain right here where you could, it was very visible. So, so I will have to replace that. So we'll be shopping for that as well. So now we come into the core colors and I would describe these as the neutrals that the designers embraced for this season. The really colors that are uh, seasonless, they call them seasonless and versatile. And I would have to agree with that. My favorite in the whole group here is the Arctic wolf color. Now, if you watch my videos, you may have seen that I just bought a pair of off-white cream colored trousers that are really nicely tailored, very classic looking. And I believe that this Arctic Wolf color will go lovely with those trousers. So I'm gonna look for some tops, um, probably cashmere in that color to go with those trousers. And I just think that whole tonal cream off white look i've said before is just the most elegant most beautiful just i just think it's really really classic so that is an outfit that i'm definitely going to be sporting this year and also the color autumn blonde which is just a little bit more yellow i think a little bit on top of the arctic white it has a little bit more yellow to it it's an interesting color i'm not sure with my coloring how flattering it will be and then we have Polar Night, which is a very, 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 very bluey black color, I would say. Um, almost shading navy, very deep navy, but not quite. A very, very interesting color. And I think it'd be beautiful in a dress or a skirt. Even a shirt, you know, would be lovely. So that color, I think, is definitely one that we could all wear. And last but not least, my second favorite in this group, I have to say, is this chiseled stone. I think this is a beautiful soft gray. I love the color gray, and I think it works well with a lot of the other colors, especially the pinks and probably the, even the orange and the red that are in the colors up above. So I look forward to kind of blending those colors. And another two combinations, which I'm curious, I think will be really nice together. And that's the color Midnight along with the caramel color, along with the gray. So I don't know if you can imagine that in your head, but I think those will be really nice colors together. Um, probably wear the caramel in the accessories, belt, boot and bag probably, or maybe um, even maybe a gray sweater with a caramel color blazer over top with, you know, the loading color in a scarf or something. I can, I can see those combinations working being quite interesting combinations. So I look forward to putting those together. I get so excited, just dreaming, thinking about how we can put all these colors together. So that's it for the colors. So what do you think? Please make some comments down below. I'm going to move over to my closet now and pull some things for you that I think represent these colors or close to it anyway. And you can let me know if you think I'm right or not. Sometimes the camera does tricks and it doesn't relay the color as well as or maybe differently than we see with our eyes, but do let me know what you think, if I've nailed it or if you think I'm completely off base. So here we go then. I have the items I'm thinking of that I've pulled out of my closet that I think will be representative of the colors that we've just gone over. But you can let me know if you think I'm wrong. Let me go and get one for you and let's chat. So I'm going to start with the things I think are in the caramel color and I'll put up the little color swatch right there so you can see. Now I know they're not perfect, but I'm thinking that this little faux leather jacket that I own might work as the caramel color. 
it's got a cute little belt and I've had it for a couple of years now it's from a company that no longer exists but as with all things that I talk about if I can find a, a close a close duplicate for you I will put it in the links so you can have a look and see if you're interested but I think this will work as the caramel kind of color now I also have let me put this down. I also have a couple of accessories. This cute little thing came from the Merit Beauty that I just reviewed um, in my makeup, my last makeup video. When you make your first, first purchase with Merit, they send you this cute little bag. And it's a really nice corduroy too. It's very soft, very nice bag. So I thought it was super cute. And just as a little bag, you know, when you're going out for dinner or something, you just tie it in a little knot and you can use it as a little bag. And it is very in style right now, this kind of little hobo look. So there you go, see, very cute, see? Carry it like that. So I thought that was super cute. And thank you again, Merit, for gifting me the minimalist makeup, which I reviewed in the last video, and it came in this cute little bag. So that was very nice. And if you order something from them, your first time you get one too. And I believe they're all the same color, anyway. Moving on, I also have this blazer. Now, I'm pretty sure this blazer is not the right color, um, but it is a camel, what I call my camel blazer. Now, in my last video about classic pieces, five classic wardrobe pieces, I talked about that I was going to uh, level up my blazers. <laughs> and I pointed out three black ones that I was looking at. So I pretty much decided that I'm gonna go with this lily silk black one. And uh, I'll put a little picture up there for you. I'm pretty sure that's I've settled on that. I love the buttons coming into the V. I think it's very flattering. So for the camel colored one, I am going to look at that Smythe blazer that I showed you in the black, but in the camel color, because I think it's close to the caramel that we're talking about now. And that is a very high end, beautiful blazer in camel. I think I will wear forever. So. That's my plan for now. Um, I don't think this one is quite right. I mean, it, there's no reason I can't wear it, but uh, I think I will be replacing it. But I've got it for now and I will wear it for the end of the summer. Moving on, I've got a couple more pieces here that I think are in the color family that we were looking at. This is, I believe, a pretty close match for the Martini Olive. So I have had this for three years now and I've worn it quite a bit. I like it as a casual jacket. I don't know if you can see, but it's got these snaps here. And it is a bomber style. And my next video will be on the styles and the trends that are coming up for fall, winter, and you know, basically kinds of jackets, trousers, shoes, accessories, all that kind of stuff. So bomber is in for sure. And, and short jackets are in. Oversized is still in too, but not as oversized, but we'll get to that in the next video. I think this is a martini olive. What do you think? I'm gonna hang on to it for now anyway until I decide for sure that I like this jacket a lot. And I also have this blue dress that I wore in my summer colors video. And I do believe that this is the color midnight. So I'll put the swatch up here so we can compare. This is a beautiful color dress. It's very flattering. Um, however, it's silk, so it's not going to be wearable in the dead of winter, that's for sure. But I, I'm definitely going to wear it as a transition piece between summer and fall and get lots of wear out, out of it in the next few months here. So that's it. That's it basically for shopping my closet and what I have for what I think is the colors that are coming up this season. This sweater too, and I have some scarves. But my point here is, and I'm advising you that the first thing you should do before you go shopping for anything is shop your own closet because you probably have some pieces that will work at least close enough, right? It doesn't have to be exact. Nobody's about any rules around here. It's just fun. It's fun, right? It's meant to be fun. Let's play with the colors of the season and let's have a lot of fun, enjoy doing it. That's my whole goal. And I love the fall season, as I mentioned at the top of this video. So I'm so excited to be getting on with 
all the fall programming, all the videos that I'm going to make for the fall. And I'm so happy that you're coming along with me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, but you've been to a couple of my videos and you like what you see, please consider subscribing. We're building a community here of like-minded women who love to share their beauty, their mature beauty, if you like, but just their plain old beauty. How's that? Inside and out. We are lovely women from around the world and we are growing a wonderful community here through this channel. It's just a vehicle for us all to do that. So, so I hope you will consider subscribing. So as promised, here's my scruffy baby to say goodbye. Are you going to say bye-bye to the people? Oh no, but you can't be shy. You're going to be a YouTube star. you got to be outgoing. <laughs> there they are. See? Look, look where Mama's pointing. There they are. Look. Look, bunny. There! Bye-bye, <laughs> people. Bye-bye, people. Enough? Okay. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.